Laura, the sign of Capricorn. Hello, and welcome to my channel. For the present time, we have the star card and the full card. Now, the star card, it's about finding yourself feeling inspired. And you'll be more hopeful about the future than you have been in a while. Also, you'll feel more confident that your needs, they're being met, whether it's financial or emotional, or it could be both. Just know that nothing can be taken for granted, of course, but it's unlikely that your confidence is going to be misplaced. And this could also be a spiritual card. And you could find yourself feeling at one with all of creation. And just know that it's not a common feeling, so try to savor it if you can. The star card is paired with the fool card. Now the fool card it's an indicator of newness of one form or another. In many ways, it indicates purity, the open or hearted energy, and the innocence of a child. Children, they're trusting, and trust it forms the basis of meaning for this card. This is considered a positive card, but there could be one thing. It's going to be important for you to take time to make sure that you're looking where you're going, trusting yourself to take a step into the unknown. That's one thing, but doing so without any thought whatsoever, that can be a big mistake. As you can see in the picture of this card, the fool card is the card that's below the word present. This man, he has such an open-hearted energy at this time, and he just feels like jumping in, taking a leap on whatever. So it could be a, it, it's a good thing, but it could be a big mistake in one instance that you're not watching where you're going. Like he's about to walk right off of a cliff. Looks like he could be hiking or something. And he's feeling so, like I said, childlike and open-hearted that he's not watching where he's going. So like I said, it looks like he's about to walk off of a cliff and land right into the Pacific Ocean because what's surrounding him is it's like all blue water just everywhere <laughs> it looks like some huge ocean that none of us would want to just flop right into and that's what he's about to do so that's what we got for you for the present time star and the fool card now paired together it's basically saying that with the star card You'll finally be experiencing some renewal, renewal or renewed hope, some inner clarity maybe. Um, you'll be having a lot of faith in something or a situation or just feeling faithful overall or just feeling like, like you're full of faith and hope. You'll be feeling that way with the star card. You could be in the spotlight. I don't know if you have a lot of people um, maybe a lot of followers or something but it's basically about re rejuvenation hopeful um, any grief of the past when you get the star card it's release and it's gonna lead you to having an open-hearted energy like this man who's about to land right into the Pacific Ocean so just enjoy the open-hearted energy, but like I said, just be careful where you're walking and where you're putting one foot in front of the other, okay? Because like I said, the star card is a beautiful thing. And then with the fool card, when you put these two together, it's like, it's a great feeling. And uh, the star card, I mean, the fool card is here, you're just going to want to just jump right in something mm -hmm. you're just going to want to take a leap so let's move on over let's take a look at how your person is seeing you if you're dealing with someone Capricorn so we got the nine of pentacles and the wheel of fortune now the nine of pentacles is one of the most uplifting encouraging cards in the tarot it can mean that your financial worries they're over for a while with this nine of pentacles beautiful and it also means that things will be going better than you thought possible. 
So it's about enjoying the good energy and share what you have. Share your wealth and happiness with others. Because we get what we give. We get back what we give out. So they see you as really enjoying this connection. Yeah, you're very happy. They see you as being very happy with this connection. And that you possibly want to move it to new heights of intimacy and joy. Such as moving it to the next level. Now it's paired with the Will of Fortune. And the Will of Fortune is also how they see you. This card reminds us that this too shall pass. Whether it's good times or bad times, it passes. If suddenly you find yourself sitting on top of the world, keep your perspective as everything else, it changes. So live in the now, count your blessings, and just realize that much of life is outside of your control. But even that's okay. Roll with any changes and try to think positive. So they see you like the Nine of Pentacles and Will of Fortune. They see you transforming. Possibly they see you bringing good fortune to this connection. So, but they know it's, an, it's, it cycles. It's always changing. So it's just not always good fortune. It's, it's at a turning point. And being that it's with the Nine of Pentacles, it's, it's never really anything negative. No, when it, when it turns from being uh, one thing and turns the will turns to something else, it's always something beautiful. Because it's with the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is, like I said, one of the most uplifting, encouraging cards in the tarot. So they really enjoy you. And when the will turns, they're still happy. Beautiful Capricorns. Now let's take a look at how you see them. Now you see them like the Eight of Swords and the Six of Swords. Now this Eight of Swords, it's about holding yourself back because you fear moving into the future. Or it could be, be, it could be because you're wary of getting hurt by a new situation or maybe for no reason at all. And I say for no reason at all because if you look at this picture, this man, he surrounded himself in Eight Swords. But he left the opening. Okay, an opening that he could easily walk through. There's a fire behind him, and it's coming towards him. But he's just stuck there. He's stuck there. He's stuck in his head. He's afraid to put one foot in front of the other. So, yeah, for maybe no reason at all, you're afraid of getting hurt. So it's about thinking through what you're afraid of. Because the truth of the situations are probably much less frightening than your mind is making it out to be. So you see them as being stuck in their head about you. They have fear about this connection. Fear about you. And it could be for no reason at all. But it's with the Six of Swords. Now the Six of Swords... It's these two people in a boat or a canoe, whatever they're in. They're, they're, um, they're in the waters. Uh, Six of Swords. It's a great time for travel if you can get away, which we all know that's impossible these days. It also indicates movement. It could be a change in where you are inwardly. Now, usually this changes for the better, whether it's internal or external. It's thinking about where you want to be. There is a slight reduction in stress and strain. Now, things may not be perfect, but they are going to be better than they have been in the recent past. So it's, um, it's about taking time to get your head above the water and decide where you're going from here. Even a short break or a change of scenery is helpful. And it doesn't have to cost money. It could just be walks around the park. So you see them like the Six of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Like I said, the Eight of Swords, you see them as being stuck in their head. 
about this connection maybe and you see them like the six of swords wanting to move into calmer waters yeah they want to take this connection to a better place they don't want to be stuck in their head they want recovery with the six of swords they want things to be much better they don't you see them as knowing they don't like being in their head like this. So, they want to move into calmer waters with you. Now let's see why it's happening. Seven of Cups and Knight of Pentacles. Seven of Cups is an interesting card, even though it's kind of plain. But it's about choices. It indicates confusion. And even to the point of disorganization and having too much going on. Now this card, it points to a need to narrow your focus. You're probably trying to do too much and doing most of it not well. So it's about choosing a few of the important things that are on your plate and work through them one by one carefully. So with this Seven of Cups, you could be feeling overwhelmed. But just remember that you can control at least in some areas how much you're trying to take on so it's about you or your person needing to evaluate your choices because someone's got too much going on too many options now it's paired with the Nine of Pentacles now this is about a message someone could be wanting to reach out to you now when you hear the word Pentacles that means money cash, coins, finance. So this Nine of Pentacles, like I said, it's, it's about messages often re with, with, excuse me, often with regards to money, finance. It could go either way. You're likely to be finally, finally receiving some type of news that you've been waiting on. And it's good news with the Nine of Pentacles. It tells us to pay attention to the mundane and normal parts of our lives. You probably heard the saying before, if you take care of the little things, the big things usually fall into place. Well, this Knight of Pentacles, it asks you to look at how you're handling your affairs. And it's a very groundling, groundling influence. So, someone's got a lot of choices here, a lot of options. They, they got too much going on, maybe, and they need to... Take things slow and steady. Slow it down. Because the Knight of Pentacles, that's what it does. Slow and steady is the Knight of Pentacles. They're stable. They're civil. Um, so they... Someone in this connection needs to put a halt to having so many options. Because that's what the Knight of Pentacles does. They put a stop to things. Um, yeah, this Knight of Pentacles... It's the type that's good to marry. Like they say, like I'm trying to explain, it's a civil type person. Very stable. They take things slow and steady. Very practical. So someone could be wanting to reach out to you when you get the Knight of Pentacles. And like I said, this could be you or your person wanting to make things better. Wanting to make it more like this Knight of Pentacles. But there, someone has a lot of options, but they know it's not good because because the Knight of Pentacles is there, and so let's recap this reading so that we can get a full picture because it's kind of this reading is kind of all over the place. So yeah, we'll recap this so we can make sense out of it. So, for the present time, the Fool card and the Star card. The Star card, you're feeling inspired and hopeful. And you have a lot of confidence. A lot of confidence with the Star card. And it's going to make you just want to take a leap and jump right in. Jump right into the Atlantic Ocean, Pacific Ocean, or wherever that is. But like I said, you don't want to do that. So watch where you're walking. And, uh, but it's a beautiful thing because you'll be feeling so good. It's about feeling ambivalent 
both of these cards. And then your person, they see you as Ten of Pentacles. Well, that's the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. They see you, Nine of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune. So, they see you wanting this connection to move to the next level. To become better. To improve its intimacy and joy with this Nine of Pentacles. But they see you as um, a great fortune to this connection. Um, but they also see you as changing. Yeah. You're in cycles. That's how they see you. You're not always like the Nine of Pentacles. Sometimes you could be like the Three of Pentacles. You're always, you're in a cycle. You're always, the wheel is always turning with you. So for right now, they see you in a really great way. You bring good fortune to this connection. And the Nine of Pentacles, it's beautiful. Uh, they see you as possibly, um, possibly wanting this connection to um, just be more. Yeah, but it, everything's in a good way right now. Because the Will of Fortune, like I said, it's it's good fortune for now. But it's, it's in a cycle. The wheel does turn. Okay? So, and you see them like this Eight of Swords. They're afraid of this connection or afraid of getting hurt. But you also see them as wanting to work on that to move this connection into calmer waters with the Six of Swords. And why it's happening? Because it looks like someone has a lot of options. Or someone could be just doing too many things. And it's causing a lot of disorganization. And it throws this connection off balance. And because the Knight of Pentacles is there, it's good because they want to make this more slow and steady and they could be reaching out to you if you haven't talked to them in a while. They'll be reaching out to you. They want to talk to you. They want to let you know that they're working on um, being afraid or holding themselves back. And they want to reach out to you because the Knight of Pentacles says that. And they want to also let you know that they're working on evaluating their choices. Yeah, they could have just too much going on or maybe too many options. But they're coming in. The Knight, they, the Knight of Pentacles, they come in and it's in a very positive way. They want to make things right. The Knight of Pentacles is a beautiful knight in the tarot. Uh, like I said, they want to fix things. They want to work on things. They want to... They get the job done. That's what they plan to do. Plan to do. Plan to do.